all of our friends over in Alabama, uh, Bessemer, Alabama, they may get a second chance at unionizing. Um, we were following the Bamazonians, um, and it, it looks as though that last effort was sabotaged so blatantly that they may very well get a second chance at unionizing um, all of the Amazon workers there in Alabama. Let's take a listen to this clip really quick. Oh, wow. Amazon Union Round 2? Amazon warehouse workers in Bessemer, Alabama, may get a second chance to vote on whether to form the company's first unionized warehouse in the country. A federal labor official has found that Amazon's anti-union campaign tainted an election held this past spring sufficiently enough to scrap its results altogether. The official is recommending a do-over of the unionization vote. A regional director from the National Labor Relations Board is expected to rule within weeks on whether to schedule a new election. Back in April, the facility's workers voted more than two to one against unionizing. It was a stinging defeat in what was by far the biggest and most high-profile union push among Amazon's U.S. workers. The effort attracted nationwide attention and even elicited the support of President Biden. Ahead of the vote, Biden specifically took aim at Amazon's anti-organizing tactics. There should be no intimidation, no coercion, no threats, no anti-union propaganda. Amazon Union. Mm. Mm. So there you have it, man. Um, these corporations are very proficient at um, talking workers out of what's in their best interest. Let's just be clear. I don't care what color you are, black, white, indigo. I don't care. Unions are in your best interest. They just are. When you're fighting, there's no way you as an individual can fight up against these monstrosities that are these mega corporations that can send Jeff Bezos into space because he decided that he wanted to do the, the next weekend. Right. You can't fight that by yourself. You got to unionize. And these companies have gotten really good. I want to watch. I want you to watch this next clip before we go to break. This is a clip from Starbucks. Starbucks um, sent this out to their franchisees um, and they sent it out to show them how to address the question of unionizing. And this is illegal, but if no one is going to actually, you know, let me, let me, let me state it like this. This walks the fine line. Look at how they finesse the fine line of legality because it is illegal for these corporations to discourage unionizing. I have to repeat that. It is illegal for these corporations to discourage unionizing, but this is how Starbucks skated it. And, and, they use the black woman to get it done. Run the clip. Hey there, partners. Tatiana here. I am a proud nine-year Starbucks partner. And you know, here at Starbucks, your voice has always mattered. And the days ahead will be no different. So let's talk about it. Partners, you're going to be faced with a very difficult decision. Do you wish to continue to have your voice used independently? Or do you want your voice to be represented by a union? Because that's exactly what the NLRB is asking you. So we wanna make sure that every single voice is heard and every partner has voted. So with that being said, our commitment to you is to make sure you know exactly what to do for the NLRB mail-in ballot. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, you'll receive a manila envelope from the National Labor Relations Board. Open the envelope and inside, you should have four items. Instructions on how to vote, a ballot, a blue envelope, and a yellow envelope. The ballot has two choices. Vote no if you wanna continue your direct relationship with Starbucks and pay no dues to the union. Vote yes if you wanna pay dues and have a union represent you. Place an X in the box of your choice and make no other marks on the ballot. Once you voted, fold the ballot and place it in the blue envelope. Do not write on this envelope. Now place the blue envelope in the yellow envelope and seal it. Find the signature line and sign across that line. It's so important you sign the envelope. Don't print your name because the NLRB needs an official signature from you. The last step is putting the yellow envelope into the mail. You can do this from your home, post office, or any official U.S. Postal Service mailbox. You don't need a stamp because it's already prepaid by the NLRB. Mail your ballot as early as possible to ensure it gets to the NLRB in time. Partners, if you have not received a ballot 
or need a replacement for whatever reason, call the number on the screen and let them know that you are a Starbucks partner and need a replacement ballot. The NLRB will mail another ballot to your home. Here are important dates for you to remember, so take that screenshot for future reference. Thank you so much partners for your time and for using your voice. This vote is personal and it's private. It's a secret ballot. So don't let anyone make the decision for you. Your voice matters. Thanks Tatiana for teaching us and we're ready to go. Partners MK here. Thank you so much for participating and watching this video. I'm here today to make sure that you hear from me that I want each of your voices to be heard. I'm asking you to vote and I'm asking you to vote now because I believe that we together can create Starbucks experience like nowhere else because we will work shoulder to shoulder and create something that all of you are ready for. And I'll be here, here with you. If you're not sure that you want union representing you and speaking for you, vote now. I believe that together we can create the best Starbucks experience. Thanks partners. I, I, um, um, I didn't realize the whale went so deep and that they got so blatant with their anti-union uh, messaging. Um, and the video froze up there a little bit, but in the actual full footage, you, they show the, the, the union card and marked it X. And this is what they're distributing to all of their partners. Here it is. Um, they're, they're distributing this to all of their partners. And you know, this is being distributed down to their workers. Now it skates the fine line of legality. Um, but it doesn't hurt when you got uh, bureaucrats who are not really paying attention to it. They look away. Now, Joe Biden said in that last clip that we listened to that we don't want any, any of these shenanigans, but they keep doing it and they keep getting better at it and they keep putting more black faces on it. And they put a, they put a, a woman face on it like they will use they will use any. They don't care what intersection you live on. They want to bust your union before it even gets started. Um, but James, like you, you know, this man, you know, this world, man, you've been out here, you know, these unions and you know how, um, you know, they're not all great, but at the same time, man, when you're going up against something like Amazon, you need some backing. So, yeah, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, one of those things where you definitely got to research your, your stuff, man, and see what it is. I remember one of my older companies, they, it was like, I guess there were, there was talk of unionizing, um, within the company. And it was like, it's really weird because it's it's so many different levels and you have so many different people coming to you or coming at mm -hmm. you from an employee standpoint and from a manager standpoint. So here it is as, as an employee, they're like, okay, people are going to be passing stuff out to you about unions. So it's like, it's this secret thing almost like a secret code or secret society. Yeah. On yeah the management yeah. standpoint of it for the company it's like, Hey, um, don't accept any mail from anybody. If anybody comes up to you with a sealed envelope, don't us accept the envelope. It was so much, bro. It's just like, bro, I just don't want to talk about none of that. I'm good. Because it's just like, if I open this envelope, then I'm agreeing that we may be um, interested in the union. And once that envelope is open, then they we can now start having public discussions and start doing this. And now I'm just like, bro, I, I ain't touching mm -hmm. shit. I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and make, they make it such a, and, and here's the thing, man, what we're talking about, you can run that B roll again, David, because I want to make sure I, I didn't, I don't think I said this. This is specifically about stores in Buffalo, New York, trying to unionize, but you understand like the Tatiana portion is what the corporate sends out. That's the, that's the mm -hmm. top stamp. And then the second portion, that's the, that's the local, their owner. Um, in other words, corporate is in <clears throat> league with, the local store owners, right? Mm -hmm. They don't want you to unionize because that means that there would be collective bargaining. That means that yep. people would be on your side trying to make sure that you get benefits, make sure that you get uh, 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 overtime. You know how many people, well, I don't even have to ask you. I know you know how many people have are being forced to work overtime because of pressure from their managers and they don't get paid overtime. That's because they don't have a union. If that's happening to you on your job, y'all need a union.